Hi students, welcome back to our MCQ discussion. Today's discussion is on sampling. See, the question is, health awareness survey was planned in a community with a sample size of 10% of the town population. The list of households from each subgroup was prepared. 10% of households from each subgroup was selected. Name the above mentioned sampling method. I will explain this with the help of a sampling frame. See, we are having a population. That population is called the sampling frame. This sampling frame population is 1000. From this 1000 sampling frame, we have to take 100 as the sample. For example, we have uh, 1000 houses. From this 1000 houses, we have to take sample from 100. We have to select 100 houses. So, this is our aim. This is our sample size. So, we can collect the sample size by three methods. First one is simple random sampling. Here what we are doing, the houses from 1 to 1000 are numbered 1, 2, 3 like that. From 1 to 1000, individually each houses are numbered. Then we use a special table called random number table or we can use random number generator. What it will do is, it will randomly give a number from 1 to 1000, 773 will come, then 200 will come, then 996 will come, then 3 will come. Like this, randomly from 1000 sampling frame, the computer will give the numbers, then we have to go to that numbered household, we have to collect, then that is simple random sampling. Second one is systematic random sampling. In systematic random sampling, what we are going to do? Here, the sampling frame is 1000. Uh, the number of sample we need is 100. So, we take 1000 divided by 100, we get number 10. So, this number 10 is called the sampling interval. So, using this sampling interval, what we will do is, we will take every 10th house. For example, from 1000, first house we will take, then 11 we will take, then 21 we will take, then 31 we will take. Like that, in the interval of 10, we will take 1-1 one, one houses. So, that is systematic random sampling. Third one is stratified random sampling. In stratified random sampling, what we are going to do, we are going to divide. Very simple, we are going to divide. Now, we have 1000 houses. So, we are going to divide the 1000 houses into 10 groups. For example, 1000 is divided into 1 to 100 is divided and it is named as first group. Then, 101 to 200, we are naming it as second group. Like this, 901 to 1000 is the 10th group. So, we have subgroups. We have 10 subgroups. From these 10 subgroups, we are selecting 10, 10 households. From 1 to 100, we are selecting 10 households. So, 101 to 200, 10 household. Like this, every subgroup, we collect 10, 10 houses. Then, totally, we get 100. So, that is stratified. So, where do we use stratified? For example, Hindu, Muslim population, Christian population, we want to select, we want to have, take sample. Then they will not be distributed equally. No? So, that we will divide them into uh, based on religion or we can divide them based on village. So, there are different types that is stratified. So, we stratify based on different methods and then we collect data. So, we have simple, systematic, stratified and the last one is Cluster random sampling. Cluster random sampling is almost uh, similar to stratified, but here, for example, in cluster, uh, we take uh, Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu, we have districts. We have about 33 districts are there in Tamil Nadu. So, each district is one cluster. So, like this, we can take 33 clusters. From th So, here the district is the cluster. From this district cluster, from these 33 clusters, we use some statistical technique to select only 5 clusters. From those five clusters, we use random sampling method, the simple random sampling method to collect. So, the, it is little bit step by step process based on certain things. It can be district or it can be anything. Then we use a thing called population proportionate to size technique and then we select a particular clusters and from there we select randomly the samples. So, that is cluster random sampling. Now, the answer for this question. See, when I saw the key for the answer, they have given as simple random sampling. Definitely, uh, I don't think simple random sampling can come here because in the question, there is a mention about subgroups. 
the population is divided into subgroups. From those 10 subgroups, the population was selected. Even though the key says it is simple random sampling, uh, because they have clearly mentioned as like 10% uh, subgroups, then again from the uh, subgroups, 10% is selected. So here subgroup means I assume it is stratification. If that subgroup is based on some criteria and it is divided, then it is stratified random sampling. But because the stratification is not mentioned in the question, we cannot say that it is simple random sampling. The method is very clearly coinciding with stratified random sampling. So my answer will be stratified random sampling. Uh, I don't believe in the key. So comment in the comment section, what do you feel about the answer? And you can give your own viewpoint. If I am wrong, I will correct myself. If you like my channel, community medicine and uh, social medicine questions and discussion, kindly subscribe our channel. I am releasing many useful videos in community medicine. Kindly become a member to watch all the videos. Meet you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye from Dr. Karthik again. Thank you.